Hey everybody, it's Jerry. Today I am cleaning my old nasty leather boots. Why would Jerry of all people clean his boots? Because I like my boots. I love my, my boots. These have been very good boots to me. These are red, red wings. I've had them for quite a few years and they've been they've been a hell of a boot. Most comfortable boot I ever owned actually. And they are filthy. They're nasty. Look at that. I had actually treated these boots. Before I went to one of the dirtiest places I think I've ever been into, it was almost like a coal mine. When I come out of there, you couldn't even tell who the hell I was. Anyway, first of all, we'll get some good warm water. Look at that. Get you some good warm water. A pretty stiff brush. Bristle brush. And scrub all that crap off here. Now like I said, I had already treated these boots. I had no intentions on going into some place that was as dirty as a coal mine. But I did. and all that nastiness all that nastiness had uh, had stuck to the leather treatment that I put on here which was open offs I haven't used open offs but maybe about a year I like it pretty good I had always used the uh, the actual red wing oil that comes with these boots when you buy it. If you spend so much for you know a pair of boots then I don't know how much it is but when you spend so much for a pair of boots at the place I got mine they'll give you a, a pair of sunglasses and, and or not sunglasses but safety glasses and uh, and a, a, a bottle of oil treatment you know liver treatment which I'm out I'm out of that. I've been out of it for, for about a year, like I had said before. And when you're treating your boots, if you don't want them discolored, you probably ought to check it before you even do it. Because these were these boots were a tan color and you see what color they are now and this is not from the uh, all that nasty gunk from that place I was I was in but this is from the oil they're almost a black color see that most a black damn color and that's because of the oil treatment that I use Brushing this is what I'm doing here is just getting off all the heavy dirt and grime and trying to get off some of that some of that oil that I put on here. I don't know how it's going to work out. I mean, look at the brush. The brush is disgusting already. After I get this done, I'll show you a little trick that I had been doing for a little while. It seems to me to work pretty good. Alright, well, 
I used the brush, now I'm going to use this old rag. This, this rag is just an old dirty rag that I use whenever I'm cleaning my boots, which are dirty. They're never this dirty. They're never ever this dirty. Which it seemed to have done pretty good. That red wing oil treatment, I've always used it ever since I got these boots, which was, I don't know, three or four, closer to four years ago. And I wear these things all the time, or I did, until I got into all that gunky, I don't even know what the hell it is. I went into an energizer An Energizer Battery Company. I was in there with one of my friends, and man, that place is nasty. Just some good warm water, a good stiff brush, and this stuff that I'm getting ready to show you. Tell you what, it'll work some wonders. The stuff that I'm getting ready to use is cheap. You can get it just about anywhere. I don't know if it hurt, you know, if it'll hurt your leather or not. It ain't never hurt mine. Couldn't really do much more damage to these boots than what I've already done to them, which I have a new pair of these. They're just not as comfortable. You know, once you get a pair of boots already broke in, you don't really want to switch out until you have to. Which I don't guess I have to, but Lord, they sure look rough. Look at there. You can pick off some of the some of the sole of it. But anyway, let me go ahead and get to it before I start on this other one and waste some more time. There it is, goop, which I guess this will be backwards on the video, unless I can figure out how to turn it around. But it's called goop, G-O-O-P, goop. It says right here that it's safe for shirt collars, blouses, shirts, slacks, vinyl canvas, woodwork, and rugs. It doesn't say leather on here, but that's what I use on my leather. I just went and got this a little while back because I was just about out of my other crap. Get you a good little portion of this shit on here. Just work it in. You can already see how dirty it's getting. It's getting dirty because it's, it's eating up all that, well, dirt. And you don't have to be in a hurry with it. Because you're supposed to let it sit for a little while on there anyway. I don't do it, but you know, directions say to. Look at that. See that? All that nastiness. Well. Oh, damn, I can see the brown coming back through. <laughs> oh, that's, that's some good stuff. It'll eat right through that crap. Bet you'll want you some good warm water with it. Uh, 
Okay, I don't know if you can tell any difference, but between the black, well, over here, and where it's wet, you can't really tell the brown, I guess, on the camera. I can't by looking at it, but I can by looking at it right here like this, looking directly at it. You can see the brown coming through, which is the stuff is, is it means it's eating, it's eating away all the dirt and grime. is very nice these are some of the best boots I've ever owned they're, mo they're really comfortable stand on your feet all day well I can I can be on my feet all day and it not hurt nowhere near nowhere near as bad as it does without them I've tried different boots. Believe me, I have tried all kinds of different boots. These red wings are the shit. Best boots I've ever owned. I'm not saying they all are or nothing. I'm not trying to tell you you should go out and buy any, but I tell you, they're the best boots I've ever owned. I've heard a lot of mixed feelings about them, but a lot of different people talking a lot of different shit about them. But I tell you, this is, this is like I said, a hundred million times already. Best damn boots I've ever owned. But they're pretty expensive too. I don't care to pay a little bit for, for something that's going to last a while, and these have. They've lasted me a while, they're good and comfortable. They got some kind of warranty. I don't know what the hell a warranty is because I've never had to use it. But these boots right here, I have wore these more than, even at home actually, I even wear them around. Not since I got them all funky, but look at that. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. And something will eat through all that shit. And take it back to almost the same color it started at new. Now you know that's some good stuff. Goop. I think I give like a dollar fifty for this stuff at Harbor Freight <laughs> of all places. Yeah, Harbor Freight. You know, I should actually be using that brush again on this to get all the all the heavy amount off. I think I will. Just rub this shit all over here. That's, you know, something else. You can just throw it on with your hands. If you let it sit for a few minutes, after saturating your, your leather with it, let it sit for a few minutes and uh, it seems to start breaking it up a whole lot more which I don't do it because I like I told you at the beginning I don't really know yeah, there I don't really know if this will hurt your leather or not it's just never 
never hurt mine. Never hurt these boots at all. When I first got these, the guy had told me that's what he uses. So I thought I'd try it and it worked great. Big thing with these, this type of act, this actual type of boot, which I can't tell you which what they are because it's already wore out, is they're not waterproof. Not when you get them anyway. That's one of the big reasons that. I use that, that oil because it, it helps to waterproof them, it treats the leather, it hydrates the leather, and whenever I got them, like I told you before, they, they were like a, a tan color. I didn't like the color too much, not being out doing the stupid shit that I do anyway. Get them all nasty and funk them up. Okay, I already cleaned this side. I had already cleaned this side and it's already, it's still bringing off the dirt. Still bringing out more. After you clean your boots, you need to let them sit for a while. It usually takes a couple of days. For me, anyway. I guess it just depending on where you live. It usually takes a couple of days for them to fully dry. Then you can you can treat them. I'll show you the actual stuff I use if you're still even watching. I'll show you the actual stuff that I use in just a minute. It's called open offs. It's a really good leather treatment. Preservative or a preserver or what the hell ever. Whatever you want to call it. I was in Louisiana. Went to Louisiana. And I was visiting a friend. I was helping him. I 
Stephanie will clear out some shit from behind his house and the shoes that I had on. Just regular tennis shoes. And it was so wet there. That my feet were just they, they got soaking wet. It's so you know you're wearing shoes and your feet get wet and you just keep wearing them and working in them and they started stinking. So he's telling me about these these boots that he he, he had on. Those were red wings. A different brand of red wings, but still they were red wings. And they, I thought they looked pretty weird because they had like a higher heel on them. They're kind of like platform shoes. <laughs> <coughs> well, I didn't like them. But he just kept going on and on about how great they were and blah, blah, blah. We went to a Red Wing store and I picked these up. I tried them on. The guy there, he was really, really helpful. I mean, it's I've never had so much, you know, such great help picking out a pair of damn shoes as I did when I walked into that Red Wing store. Well, I walked out with these. First ones that I had picked up, I had picked up the wrong size because, yeah, hell, he had me put these things on and walk around. He was like, how's it feel? And do you have this much room or that much room? And, after a bunch of damn questions and me getting a little aggravated with having to a answer so many questions, I walked out with those and I ain't never been so happy in my life. Let me walk in here and grab this, this uh, open off, so I'll be right back, y'all. Alright, here it is. Open off. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. It. Leather oil. That's some great stuff right there. It really is. If I had to choose between this and the actual, the actual oil that came with my boots, I don't know which one I'd pick. The stuff that came with the boots was great. It was awesome. It says open off leather oil, natural preserving oils, natural preserving oils, beeswax, and pro. I don't know what the fuck that word is. It waterproofs, restores, protects, preserves. Convenient dabber applicator, which is this thing. Oh yeah, that's it. It's like that PVC. PVC glue. Leather Research Laboratory rated Ovenos number one over all others for most complete leather protection. Well, I don't know about that. I do know that it's a really good leather treatment. I enjoy it anyway. I use this kind of stuff all the time. I've used mink oil. I've used this generic some kind of shit. A few different kind of generic shits. I've used the Red Wing and the Open Offs. And like I said before, I don't know which one I picked. Either the Red Wing or the Open Offs is my two choices. Of course, I haven't used, you know, all, all the name brand ones, but I don't give a fuck. Look at there. Oh, yeah. Almost perfectly clean. Now that I've got all the, the dirt and grime off of there, or most of it anyway, once these things dry, I'll treat them with the open oils.
then I'll be good to go for a while. But anyway, I'm getting off here. I gotta clean my other boot. I may actually just take a heat gun on low setting and try to dry them enough to where I can uh, apply the open offs today. Or maybe not. I might just wear my other boots. I've got another pair just like these. They're just about new. They've already been treated. I don't know. But anyway, I'm out of here. You guys have a great day. See you later.